Good afternoon. We would like to welcome you to the renaming ceremony of the Douglas County Fire Department Training Facility. We ask that you please stand as the colors are presented and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I would like to introduce Douglas County's first chaplain, Tommy Deal, who will now lead us in a short prayer. It's an honor for Susan and me to be with you all in honor of my friend, Wayne Arrington. Bow with me for prayer, please. Holy God, we bow before you this afternoon with praise and thanksgiving for all that you give to each of us. You have given to each of us life. You have given to us family and friends that enrich our lives. You have given to us health and all we need to live a, a life full and abundant. For these blessings and so much more, we give to you our thanks. We thank you for the Douglas County Fire Department, for the men and women that make it great who serve their community and who offer all that they are to protect and help their neighbors. We thank you for the leadership of this department and the county officials, current and past, who endeavored to make this department the very best. We thank you for Chief Spencer and all of his staff who continue this vision and leadership. In the early days of the formation of this countywide fire department, you sent a short, strong leader and visionary to guide, direct, and to inspire. For all of us who knew Chief L. Wayne Arrington, we thank you, Almighty God, for permitting us to be touched by this giant of a man. He led in the consolidation of the community fire departments and the foresight to provide premier fire protection and emergency medical services to Douglas County, Georgia. We have gathered here this afternoon to name this superb training facility after this one who helped to begin it all, Chief L. Wayne Arrington. Our prayer this afternoon, Holy Father, is that all who enter these gates and learn the skills needed will be safe in all of their endeavors. They will live up to the dreams and legacies of all who have gone before them, especially Chief Arrington and that your holy protection will be on each of them in the execution of their duties and service to Douglas County. In your holy name that we pray, amen. You may be seated. My name is Scott Spencer, uh, and I'm the current fire chief for the Douglas County Fire Department. And I'd like to thank each and every one of you for coming out today to help celebrate Chief Arrington and what he means to this department. I would like to uh, first thank Deny Signs. They were so gracious, and they donated all of the signage you saw out of the road on the fence and the plaque that we'll unveil here in just a few minutes. Uh, Mr. Denise, Alan Denise, uh, and Chief Arrington, they were buddies, without a doubt. Uh, when Denise Signs first started in the basement of uh, Mr. Denise's house, uh, Chief Arrington was very supportive of him, uh, and now we know that you know Denise 
signs, as, as we call it out here, uh, is a multinational, multi-million dollar company. Uh, and that just kind of goes to show you Douglas County and the spirit we have out here and how we work together. Uh, again, Chief Arrington and uh, Alan and I were very good friends. And when we first started talking about this out here, Alan, without a doubt, he said, I want to be involved. I want to do the signs. So here we are today. So thank you to the nice signs. I think they deserve a big round of applause. I would also like to thank our own Douglas County Board of Commissioners for passing the resolution that allowed us to rename this facility. Uh, they did that last year, uh, and we started working on uh, getting the signage done and uh, making sure everything was just right so that we could have this ceremony today. Uh, finally, I would like to thank our fire department staff who uh, has helped set all this up today. Uh, without them, we, we couldn't have this either. So. Uh, my hat's off to them as well. So thank you, staff. I would like to recognize our elected officials uh, that are here today. Uh, I'll just ask them to stand. And it's an honor and a privilege to have them here to help us celebrate Chief Arrington's life and his legacy. So thank you all. When you take a look around this great facility, this is where we train our firefighters and our medics to do what they do every day. We train them from uh, how to fight fires, how to rescue people, how to repel, uh, and, and a host of other classes that are held out here. This, this facility was a dream of Chief Arrington. Uh, when, when Chief Arrington hired me way back in 1977, <clears throat> uh, that was one of the first things he told me is uh, we would have to just find like an empty parking lot to train in or uh, an abandoned house that somebody would have donated to us that we could burn. Uh, but his dream was for us to have our own facility where we could go no matter what and train and make sure that our folks were the best prepared that they could be. He taught us to uh, always train and train hard. He had a way of making you push yourself further than you thought you could possibly go. He, uh, he, he made a lot of, uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, of us young guys uh, see stuff within ourselves that we never would have seen without him. And I'll be forever grateful for that. Uh, I remember uh, uh, a time when Chief Arrington and I, uh, I was a lieutenant at the time, and he was the chief, and we were uh, talking one day, and, you know, when you're 19 or 20 years old, you know everything anyway, right? Uh, and so Chief Arrington and I, we, we got in a, uh, a discussion one day, and uh, he was telling me, you know, this and that, and this department and that department and I said well chief you know Douglas County's not the only fire department in the world he said well big boy you think you, get, you can do better go right ahead and that kind of made me take a step back well long story short uh, I figured I'd show him so uh, I, I did put in for another fire department uh, Cobb County Fire Department and uh, uh, was lucky enough to get hired over there. I didn't quit here. No, 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 no. This was my home department. This was going to always be my department. Uh, and, I, and I worked at, at both Douglas and Cobb for about a year and a half. Uh, but Chief Arrington pushed me uh, beyond any, anything that I thought I could do. Uh, and I'm a better man for that. Uh, Chief Arrington was probably the most influential male person in my life other than my dad who happens to be sitting in the back corner there. Hey, Pop. Uh, and uh, it, it's just been a, a privilege and an honor to serve the citizens of this county uh, for 40 plus years. Uh, 
And as you look around this facility, uh, you'll see it's less than shiny, it's less than pristine, and it's less than new. Uh, well, it's about 10 years old now. It's pretty much been used every day since it's been opened uh, by either the Douglas County Fire Department or other fire departments within our region. Uh, I know the first time I saw a city of Atlanta tiller ladder truck in Douglasville, Georgia, I was like, now, you know, that's pretty cool. Uh, so the city of Atlanta comes out here and trains. Uh, we go into the city of Atlanta and train with them. That's another lesson that Chief Arrington taught us. You know, nobody can do all this by themselves. There's going to be times when we're going to need help, and then there's going to be times when other departments need help, and we can send that help to them. So Chief Arrington was proud of this department and this facility. He touched many lives as the chief of this department, and his influence and leadership was instrumental in making our department what it is today. Now I'm going to ask Sheila Watson, who is the assistant to the chief, retired, to share a poem written by another one of our retirees, Doug Stevens. Uh, Stevens. Uh, this, this poem was a uh, first read at Chief Arrington's retirement ceremony in 1998. Miss Sheila. I'm also honored to be asked to read this today. I just hope I can get through it. Chief Arrington was not only my boss, but he was my mentor, and he was my dad, because that's the way he treated me. If I ever got out of line, he'd say, let's get in the car, let's go. <laughs> and we had our little talk, and he always made life better for me. The name of this poem is A Whisper in the Wind. Through this life we travel once, and many trials we trod, to seek that one path just for us with the unseen hand of God. The world laid out its course for you and then did step aside to watch you try and falter or to stand up tall with pride. Unto the cloudy maze you plunged to tempt the hand of fate, hoping when that chance did come you would not be too late. With heels and curves awaiting, you stumbled and sometimes fell. But arriving at the fork, you heard the clanging of a bell. So clearly was your calling, you bowed your head and wept to be among the chosen to offer unselfish help. The field you drew would be the one from which you would retire. But until that time, you gave your all to the job of fighting fire. You rode the truck, you fought the blaze, you helped mend a broken life. When the smoke did clear and you needed help, there stood Dale, your wife. Through the years you gave your best and answered every need. Then one day you felt the call to drop the hose and lead. With five bugles on your collar, you knew where the buck would stop. Some stayed your friend, some turned away, for it's lonely at the top. But with your drive, you did maintain from your goal, you did not swerve to build a department around the words to protect life and to serve. Through your term, you watched it grow and knew that it was good. For those in blue, you did instill the beliefs on which you stood. Now you have passed the torch along. It's time for you to rest. Hang up your badge and helmet. We know you did your best. And never fear that your memory or legacy will end, for when firemen gather, your name will be a whisper in the wind. I think she did an awesome job. And now I'm going to ask Miss Dale Arrington, or Miss Chief as we call her, <clears throat> to come up and we're going to unveil the plaque.
when this facility opened in uh, 2009, it was simply called the Douglas County Fire and EMS uh, Training Complex. Today, we renamed this facility the L. Wayne Arrington Fire and EMS Training Facility in honor of and in memory of our chief. Thank you all for coming today. You all are friends and you all are family. And thanks for all the, the men and women of the Douglas County Fire Department. Could not, be, could not live without you guys here. And we appreciate everything you've done for Wayne and for me. Thank you.